right. We'll take it from here. Now Bill sniped those auctions for us. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Plastic Empire. Today we're going to be unboxing four cases of Combiner Wars Titan Class Devastators direct from Hasbro. They're not all for us. A total of eight Tri-C Vipers went in on this. Well, two of us skimped out. Oh, but they're pain. <laughs> they're pain. <laughs> what we're going to do today, we're just going to open a case, you know, pull out um, one, one Devastator, and then Pedro is going to go and review that for us. Now, in this case, we have four boxes of two Devastators. Mmm, smell that case fresh. <laughs> nice and fresh. Look at that, look at that box. Alan, what do you think of that box? I find it sexy. <laughs> I mean, that is awesome, awesome artwork. Yeah, we're not gonna open all these, but we will um, open one just to review that. And shipping box, so we'll get that out of the way here. And we'll get into the uh, opening and reviewing. Okay, everybody, here we go. We're going to have Pedro with Alan review the Combiner Wars Devastator. Enjoy. Well, Alan, we finally have it. The Combiner Wars Devastator. Probably the best Devastator that Hasbro is going to ever make for us. Yes, and it actually towers over our other Autobots and Decepticons, unlike the original. Yeah, and it's actually bigger than all the Devastators currently out third party or official. Um, first of all, it comes in this amazing box. Um, for retail, it's awesome. Okay, this is um, great artwork, um, probably from the comic book of Devastator, and a really nice action pose fighting some probably female Autobots. Yeah, I think these are the female Autobots uh, that were at San Diego Comic Con. It was. Uh... No, the, the, these are in RC. I don't know which ones. RC, uh, RC and Wingblade and um, Alita One, I think it was. Right. These right. are in it, but I think in the comic book they were on the, the. There was some lost Transformer City, and he might be fighting them. I don't know, but it just it looks great. It looks All awesome. Right. Uh, you figure it out. All right. It's got <laughs> an awesome. It comes with a card of this art, which is really cool. Um, we were looking at this. This is embossed. Yep. All right. Devastator is glossy. You put your, you run your fingers over it, okay, and, it, and it's, it's actually puffed up. It's it, it's just awesome, all right. Even though the background is colored and everything, it's embossed. You get all the individual vehicle forms, um, alt modes, I guess, all six of them, all right. Now on the top, you get a close up of the six individual robots that make Devastator, with the uh, with the new um, that uh, well not not the new but the uh, the Decepticon symbol with the flares or whatever, the rocket. Nothing on this side. On this side, the Combiner Wars comic logo with the close-up of Devastator. And this is what's really... I mean, yeah. this, this is the actual size. This is 18 the inches. That's huge. Okay, it's not as big as the Generations or Fall of Cybertron um, uh, Metroplex. It was about that big, about I think it's 22 inches. 22, but he is still the size of a small child. Yeah, this <laughs> is actually, actually, the, 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 their babies, newborn babies, are smaller than this. <laughs> um, it's got it, the box has a decent heft. You figure it'd be a little, a little heavier, um, but it's not. And here you get what's really cool. You get both the uh, the robot form and the alt mode for all six. And they actually tell you how many steps it takes to complete the transformation for each of the six. Yeah, I guess if kids are getting this, and I guess that's something that's fun. And what I like is that they, they number them on the side here, and then they number where those, and then, and then you can see here where those pieces go, yeah. or where those robots go. But uh, let's let's crack this thing open. All right, we got the trusty knife here. It's a, it's a fairly thick box, but you know, with the uh, I guess with the packaging and the uh, and the shipment, 
they all seem to have some kind of imperfection, right? We notice mm -hmm. that all of these yeah. have some kind of defect from shipping and packaging. So you can't really say these are case fresh. Yeah, because they, they come they come rotten right out They're of the case. case. Sale. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I, I thought I was going to do that. I was just pulling it out upside down. Right. Alan, pull the sleeve, please. Okay, now this right. is a nice touch. I was not expecting this. Um, it's very simple, but they don't always do that. First of all, here's the instruction sheet. And obviously for something like this, it's going to be huge. All individual robots on how to how to get them from their vehicle, I mean from the robot to all modes. And I guess on this side is how to build Devi. Yep. Devastator. Very cool. What I do really like is that they put a they put cardboard to cover oh, wow. the figures. Um and in person these are huge. These are really big. I mean it's just I mean that's my hand. Wow. All right, he is really big. The packaging is cheap. This this is nowhere near the styrofoam packaging we got back in the day. No, this is something you'll find, you know, like in Chinatown in the 80s. You know, yeah, right exactly. But you would expect the bootlegs, but this is what we have. So let's take them on and put them right on all here. Right. Um, I don't remember the names of all of these. I never did, but this one is... That's Scrapper. That's Scrapper. This is the leader. This one is Scavenger. I believe this one is Hook. That is definitely Hook. This is Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher. This one is Mixmaster. Slightly controversial because he's like a modern, I guess, uh, cement mixer. Yeah, yeah. Where it's backwards. Okay, I mean, looks like he looks like he's a Cyclops or a little slow. I don't know. He's got this. He's like he's oh, almost like cross-eyed. Yeah. All right. And then this. And then this, this is, is incredible. Okay, this right here is long haul. That's right. And looks like what they did was they these are these are five um, Voyager class size V um, transformers. What they would call Voyager class, I guess at the twenty five point range. Yeah. 20, 25, maybe a little bit more. And this would be a leader class because it's it's fairly big. All right, and yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. The torso, the torso, lower torso, the crotch, and. Uh, the upper legs, but not for nothing. Um, wow, I really like this color. I mean, the color is awesome. Yeah, isn't that um, great? It's, colors. It's about as you know close to the color as you're going to get. Yeah. They are very lightweight. Yes. So these do not feel. You know, there's obviously no die cast needs at all. But even the plastic alone is still very, very light plastic. Yeah. Um, they don't have a lot of paint apps. They're very. No. Uh, they're very frugal with the paint apps. But at least the plastic. The plastic feels good. Yeah. I gotta say, this feels like good plastic. But it's. But they're definitely hollow. Um, and I love, I am a sucker for tempographed um, uh, uh, insignias and stickers. And that just looks awesome. That just looks awesome. That I really, that I really like. Now, for the sake of, for the sake of this uh, review, we're not going to go through all the individual modes. Um, uh, they're on the box here, and you can find them online. The bottom line is, I bought this so that I can look. I can. Ch I'll check out the old modes at some point. But what I really want. Ooh, good job, Alan. Yeah, we just realized the weapons and such, and the hands are in the bottom of the box. So can't forget. Yeah. These. So look at the bottom of the box. You need this to be able to build him up. Um, let's put them together. Um, this is going to go on my shelf always as Devastator, and I think most people are going to have it on their shelves as Devastator. You know, some people might buy, I guess if you buy a few of them, you could have one as Devastator and one in robot forms. I'm not too crazy about the robot forms from what I've seen online and from seeing the pictures. They're okay. What's really, really nice about this is the Devastator form. Yeah. Okay. And so, that's really what you're paying for. So, um, actually, I'm going to show some other pieces. Nice. All of these can double as weapons for the um, for for e for each uh, uh, what are they called? The constructor cons. Constructor cons. Yeah, exactly. So, and you could just see already if you're if you're familiar with any kind of devastator, you can already see that you know here's the chest plate, the two pieces to the guard, and this is really cool. These missile pods are actually his hands. These are his hands. That's right. Okay. 
So, let's transform him into Devastator. Voila! This is a Devastator. This is the Devastator that I needed back in 1985, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, all the way up to now. This is gorgeous. Um, He's got tons of articulation. Look at this ankle, you know, a, an ankle tilt. It's not a pivot, but you get you get a tilt that's ratcheted, so it's strong. Um, and he has a lot of support. He's not too top heavy. He's not too bottom heavy. A big complaint is that Scrapper here doesn't have articulation on the elbows, but at least for he for this toy, I think it works great because it gives us support. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have also the. Uh, Ankle ticket, I mean ankle ticket, ankle <laughs> tilt on this side for long haul. This piece is really too small. What do you think? Yeah, it, looks, it, it looks like he's got baby feet. But, yeah. uh, Especially you have this wide foot here on the, uh, on the on his right. Yeah. And on the left, he's got this thing. Yeah, it should, uh, they should have extended this or maybe at least had a joint in there that you could extend it for the purposes of Devastator. But uh, uh, Actually, I want it widened. Or widened too. Yeah, that's, that's my problem is, is it's just kind of small. But it's not terrible. You know what? And it works for the price point of this figure, you know, and what you can accomplish. Okay. And to continue with the articulation. Oh, this here's a problem. You see this piece here? It doesn't, it doesn't go flush against the figure. Mm. And this one's a little bit better, but this one's a little angle. Uh, it's a, it's a little angle, but he's got, you know, pretty good range in his knees. Yeah. I mean, that's just over 90 degrees. All right. This joint here on the top of the leg is actually from Long Haul's robot form, but he's got a swivel. He's got a he's got a swivel at the thigh on both sides. We'll get back. To, we'll, we'll, I'll explain something about this gun. I'm not, I'm not too crazy about, it, but uh, his legs come up. You know, I just got to flip up the uh, what are these called? The skirt pieces. I was gonna say that you're exposing him there. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, doesn't mean to do that. Oh, to me. To oh, I was talking to him. You see that? Waist. Now, the only thing is to get the waist to work, you have to untap the backpack, which actually is not too bad. It's kind of streamlined. And I kind of like it that it's open like that. It gives him a nice look. Um, it attaches. Actually, you know what? Nix that. You don't, have to, you don't have to unattach anything. He is free to turn it on his waist, left and right. He's just limited. He's not going to go more than that. Um, unless you take off the backpack piece. Um, basically just flip it up. Um, his head goes left and right. Unfortunately, you don't get it down. But I guess you could always just, you know, bend him over. <laughs> We're exposing him or bending him over. <laughs> FCC. Okay. It's, you know, the tolerances are great. The arms are a little thin, are a little thin, and that's mainly because the tracks are what help keep the, the torso together. Mm. Everything here, I mean, the connection here is insane. To put this on, you have to connect long haul, hook, um, what's this guy here? Oh, this one's hook. This one is... Oh, that's... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Scavenger. <laughs> <laughs> Scavenger and Bone Crusher. Yes. Okay. All four, all four of these are connected by these two pieces here. Actually, one, two, three pieces here. But it makes for a nice, stable connection. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. You just, you don't... He's a lot less um, floppy than the other Combiner Wars. Than most, than, than most Hasbro Transformers. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I mean, he... You know what? Together, he's not as light as you think. Yeah, once he everything does... is put together, he definitely does feel like he has a little bit more heft. Because I did feel that the individual robot pieces were uh, very light and very hollow. They're very light, but at but least... you're right. He does have heft once you actually get him into this mode. And, I was, and what I was going to mention before about the gun, it's a square... I guess it's a square peg, okay? And he's, you know, and the hole here is, is a square, but there's nothing that attaches it. There's no clip. There's no ta um, tab in here. And port that will attach it, and then boom, it'll stay. Okay, it's not terrible, but I would have liked something a little more permanent. Yeah, something a little more permanent. Overall, 
if I wanted to, I could compl- I, if, if so, I guess if somebody wanted to, they could complain. But I think they, for me, they, they just, they hit a home run. They, I mean, this is, this is just an incredible piece. It's got a great amount of detail. Since it's missing paint apps, I would have really loved like a wash on it. A, a wash that would take, that, 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 so that you could really notice a lot of this detail. There's a lot of molded detail, a lot of lines. There's even sculpted grading. I mean, if it's had a wash that you can actually pick these things out, some kind of dark wash, it would be awesome. Um, I like the fact that the arms have really good friction. The elbows are okay. They could be a little bit better. And this gun not attaching kills yeah. me. <laughs> but other than that, I love this. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, considering the fact that there's a San Diego version, there's a Alphabet Guitar version, um, the retail version, if you're a Devastator fan, is very yeah. Easy if to you're a retail, yeah. If you want the retail version and you don't want to over, you don't want to spend all the money for the San Diego Comic Con and or, or the or, or the Takara, and especially if you want it right now. Yeah. Okay. Go to your Toys R Us and pick this up. If you live in an area where they charge more than the website, I suggest you price match. Um, you can always price match the t- the price on the website with what they have in the store. But this, I mean, I couldn't recommend this enough. I mean, he is, if you just had him like this, I mean, this guy's super sturdy. And he attaches well. This is my new buddy. This right here, I'm sorry. Oh, don't say anything to grunt. This might be some stuff for us. But this guy right here, he's my pal. All right, I think that kind of wraps it up. What do you think, Bill? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, you know, and before we go, I really want to give a shout out to our boy, Dave. He really hooked us up with this. Thanks a lot for letting us Thanks, use Dave. yours, because we're not opening ours. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're going to pick the best box, and then the worst box will be to uh, those that denied that they had anything to do with this order. Yeah. You, right? I agree. Okay. Well, signing off. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, good night.